Jesus mighty name. You're free. Say, I want to speak with you. And I saw you, Baba. We need to pray for your health. Eh? Are you hearing me? Come. I'm hearing sugar diabetes. And there's a spirit also of high blood. I don't know, maybe. I, I huh? can't. It's the first time I hear this. I'm saying, let's pray for the spirit of sickness in you. Yes. Huh? Yes. You don't know that you're sick? I know I'm sick. I want to pray for you. Amen. You're from Namibia? Yes. I'm seeing that in your family. Amen. There's, if you, God can lift you, it's like you'll be an example. Amen. Because everyone now is looking up to you now. Amen. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. Because I'm seeing you taking a direction and I'm seeing your family taking another direction. Amen. Huh? Amen. And now I want you to change. After I pray for you, God is going to help you to change these people. Amen. Because in your relatives, I'm seeing drunkards. Amen. Are you hearing me? Mm. I'm say, you know, Sissy? You know him? Come. Baba, I say, I'm seeing you sick. Yeah, in my stomach. No, I'm seeing you sick. And now this sickness is affecting your heart. Come, come, my sister. You heard what I said? I'm saying through you, God wants to change the whole family. Amen. Are you hearing me? Mm. Because now, for you to be married also, it's a miracle. Amen. It's true. Satan has been blocking, blocking, even blocking your finances. Amen. Huh? Amen. And here in your family, marriage is a problem. Yes, it's true. So I want to pray for you. Is your wife this one? Yes, it's my wife. Huh? Yes. You need to, to be careful of spiritual husband, eh? Yes, my love God. Oh, you hear me? Yes. I'm seeing a spirit that sometimes wants to come there and press you when you're sleeping. It's true, my love God. Oh, you hear me? Yeah. And now this spirit can try to block your womb. It's true, my love God. Hmm? So I want to pray for you. I believe God is going to release you from this prison. Amen. But uh, li listen, in the beginning I said, if God can lift you up, these people that I'm seeing, I'm seeing people that are suffering. Amen. I'm seeing people that are trying to get jobs but nothing. Yes, it's true. Huh? Yes, it's true. Others are trying to do businesses but there's nothing. Amen. That is working. Mm -hmm. So I'll pray for you and God will help you. Yes. Huh? Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? Amen. Mama, I said there's a spirit that is trying to press you when you're sleeping. It's true, man of God. Hmm? And true. this spirit, the way it's doing, will try to... How do you know him? Um, we grew up together and he's also our pastor at the church where we are. Huh? Um, he's also a pastor at the church where I'm fellowshipping. He's your pastor? Yes, and <laughs> also our prophet with us. Who's your prophet? Prophet Carlo. Huh? Yes. Prophet who? Carlo. Oh, come, sir, come, come. But there's another one who's close with the family of Malambo. Who's that one? Malomo. Come. Come, Mama. Come, come, this side. So you attend the church of this one? Yes. And which church are you going to? Same. Ah. So you, you people who came as a group, eh? Yes. They come from Namibia? There's more sitting. There's another one there. Ah, also another daughter. one, come. Ah. My daughter. Your daughter? Oh, come all of you. Let me speak with all of you at the same time. At least you're coming from the same place. I'm, I said, because this lady, she's experiencing pains there. Are you hearing me? 
Amen. So I'm hearing that it's like every time when you have to go to, I don't know if you understand my point. Yes. Huh? There are some funny pains in your stomach. It's true, man. But I believe after we pray for you, Hrosman, mm. Hrosman. That's me. After we pray for you, God is going to help you. Huh? Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Amen. And through you, God can change these people. I said, I'm seeing drunkards mm. in this family. Yes, it's true. Are you hearing me? Yes, Amen. it's true. And now you must lead them as an example. Amen. Even though now you've got serious problems Amen. around you, but I believe yes. through you, God can change this family. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Can you please introduce yourself to us and also introduce the lady next to you and also confirm the prophecy that you received today, whether to be true or not? Uh, amen. My name is Elago Morgan and this is my wife, uh, Genevieve Elago. Uh, we received a uh, prophecy about our marriage and about uh, our children and also about my family, which is, was 100% true. And it's something that I was trusting the Lord for, to speak also about my family because none of our marriage... When it comes to a family, um, um, the devil is always attacking our marriage. And most of the people always end up in divorce or they just separated. So it's 100% true. And about our children, it's 100% true. We are trusting the Lord for that. And yes, the prophecy was correct. And also um, about the church also, it was 100% correct. He's talking about the church and how the enemy want to attack the church. So, um, and how was this, all these things ha affecting you? It was really affecting us, especially the church. It was, it's a lot of things were happening, but then we trust in the Lord that God has come through for us. And we also want to uh, thank the Lord for uh, um, about our family. It's something that we are, it's, it was a struggle, and, and the man of God says, I'm the only one that is fighting this battle in our family, and I'm the only one that is, um, God is going to use in this family. So I thank the Lord for that breakthrough that came through, and I believe that... Um, God is going to do mighty things in our family. The man of God also spoke to you about the pain that you're feeling in your stomach. He actually was praying for you in your stomach. What is really happening to you? Um, I have been, I've been experiencing certain pains, especially on my, on my right side, the left side of my, of my lower abdomen. I've always been experiencing some hardness there and then some pain as well there when it comes to my monthly, monthly cycle. That is what I have been experiencing. You spoke about the spiritual husband that wants to come to you. Were you aware of that? Yes, there were several times that I had dreams of a spiritual husband that came to me in the form of my husband. So that was confirmation as well. How was it affecting your life? Um, it, was, it was really affecting my life in, in a bad way because it, it was to the point where this spirit, it, it inflicts every area of your life. So even emotionally, spiritually, it just comes and drain. Even the, it, it comes and also places a strain even on our marriage itself. That is the main purpose of the spirituals. But every other area of your life, it affects. How are you feeling right now as one of God was able to locate the problem that was really affecting you? I bless God because I'm I'm feeling a lot of relief, and I bless God because this is what we have came, what we came for here to to South Africa to get complete deliverance, and I bless God that I've that we have received it today. Um, I just want to encourage all the viewers out there to. Um, remain faithful to God, hold on to Him, hold on to His promise because God is faithful. He will come through for you. He will deliver each and every one. Thank Amen. Thank you. Mama, disappointments. Hmm? Yes. Are you it's true. There's a spirit that has been following you. It's true. Huh? Where's your husband? We divorced 13 years ago. Disappointments. You remember when I was saying disappointments? Yes. There's a plan of Satan. The way they want to do it, they want you to have different children with different men. Mm, it's true. Huh? I'm saying they want you to have different children with what? Different men. Different men. And whereas there was a destiny that God put, that, put it aside for you, mm. but you have never reached there. Because I'm seeing you included in a very abusive relationship. It's true. No? It's true, man of God. Are you hearing me? Yes. So, but I want to pray for you so that God must restore your life. Amen. No? Amen. It was, I'm seeing you praying and praying and crying. It's but true. But there's no answer. It's true. Of, of anything. Mm. And I'm seeing you praying also for your family. It's Mama, true. Mama, we also need to pray for your family. Amen. Are you hearing me? 
Yes, Dad. We need to pray for your family. Amen. Huh? Amen. Because where is your father? My father is in Namibia. Hmm? He is in Namibia. Your father didn't marry the second wife. He just he married recently. Huh? He married secretly recently. He, he married secretly. Yes. He never told anyone. He never told anybody. Oh. In fact, he chose a few people and he said they must not tell anybody. To go and marry. Yes. But I'm seeing a house. I don't know. This looks like a vacant house. Uh. Huh? I'm seeing a house. It's like there's no one who's staying there. I don't know if you know about it. No, he's having a lot of properties. I will not know which one you're huh? talking about. He's having a lot of properties. I don't he's know. He's having one. a lot of property. Yes. But can I say something? Please. Ash. Because what I want to say, I'm, I'm, I'm also not afraid of saying it. Amen. Because you know, there's some certain character that you saw in this woman. Yes. Huh? No, it's true. Can I say it? Please say it, man of God. Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, she's crying. She knows what I'm talking about. Because this, this lady, she's a problem. This, this woman that I'm seeing, she's... And if I say it here, people are watching. Huh? People are watching. If I say it here, people are going to accuse us and say, hey, in charis. Uh, I want to pray for you, Mama. Because you don't need to worry. Don't worry. Because I'm seeing this woman creating many problems in the family. I haven't spoken to my father since February this year. Uh, give glory to God. Uh, This, this woman, she's creating problems, serious problems. And to me, I can say she's dividing the family. It's divided already. Huh? There is no family already. There's no family already. Mm -mm. And you people, you are people of... Uh, so your father is in government. He retired. He retired. Mm -hmm. So why is he married now at this age? Ish. Oh man. Because to me, what this lady came to do, she came to destroy you people. And here you people, you are trying to follow God. Huh? You wanted to go somewhere. You wanted to go to visit another pastor. Yes. Huh? I have been everywhere. There's nothing I did not do. I've been to witch doctors because of You never problem. wanted to go to the US? I wanted to go to Miami. To Miami. I'm seeing another prophet there. Huh? I wanted to go to Miami. To another pastor there? Yes. Thank God you came to Cherries. Amen. <laughs> because God is going to solve all your problems. Amen. Because I just saw a trip that was organized. Amen. And you people, you wanted to go there for prayer. Amen. Huh? Amen. Listen, Mama, don't cry anymore. Amen. Don't cry. We'll, we'll reverse these cases. Amen. That this lady has brought into your faith. Because you people, you are you're people of money. Huh? That's true. People of money, but now Satan is scattering everything. Huh? Because I'm seeing this. It's like when I'm trying to trace back, I'm seeing shops. Yes. In the old days. My grandfather from my huh? mother's side. He had shops. Yes. Hmm? Yes. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. My name is Nosipo Nangolo from Venduk, Namibia. 
The prophecy that I received from the man of God is very true. Uh, because I never mentioned anything to anybody, but all the things that he mentioned are the things that I came here for, are the things that were bothering me, are the things that were making my life miserable. And he spoke about the things that happened, and you never told anybody. I never told anybody, even when I was filling in the registration form. I tried by all means not to reveal uh, to give any clue to what I came here for because I needed a prophecy. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling so relieved. I'm feeling light. Amen. Mm. Amen. Thank you. Amen. I will pray for you. God is going to uh, help you. Amen. We need to pray for you. Yes. We need to pray for you because of what God wants to give you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. But what I'm hearing is that don't trust people. Amen. I'm hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. I'm saying, I'm hearing that don't trust people. Yes. There are some funny boys who want to. Huh? I can confirm. I'm telling you, there are people who want to divide your church. Mm. And these are the people that I knew. Not this one. No. no. Not him. Yeah. I'm hearing that there are people who want to divide your church. Mm -hmm. because of where God wants to take you. Amen. And now people are calling you prophet, but I'm not seeing a prophet. Mm. Thank you, Lord. I'm not seeing a prophet. The way God wants to do it, I'm seeing you as an apostle. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you. Amen. I'm seeing you as a... But let's pray for your marriage. Huh? Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Let's pray for your marriage. I'm hearing that you can divorce. If... We don't pray for this. Because we need to pray so that your wife has... Thank God. Uh, today I'm, I'm relaxed. <laughs> Molo knows me. I will be fast, fast. And today I want to prophesy like those people in synagogue. I want to go straight to the point. Mm -hmm. Because these people, when you tell them a lot of details, they, they think too much. Mama? You know what I said? Yes. It was very true. It was very true. Huh? It's very true. And you never wrote it on the form? No. Did you write it on the form? Pardon? What I'm telling you, did you write it on the form? I tried by all means not to reveal my... You never said anything? Yes. Because people, they come here, they think we are using forms to prophesy them. We don't do that. This is Charis Missionary Church. Amen. We speak what the Holy Ghost is telling us. Amen. Telling you. I'm saying it now. Amen. It's, you know, sometimes even when we become quiet, people, they think we are stupid. We are not stupid. Amen. You can't come here and we speak something that God didn't tell us. Amen. What I'm telling you, you never wrote it somewhere. No, but I I'm seeing your, your father marrying another woman. And this woman is a witch. It's true. Did you write it down? No, I did not. So, let's not offend the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit can end up, you'll be cursed. If you offend the Holy Spirit, you'll be cursed. I, I know what people are saying. Amen. And we'll prove to them that although when the Holy Spirit is there, we don't need to prove anything will show you that is God who's talking. Amen. And I'm saying, I'm seeing shops. My grandfather, my late that grandfather. That were there in old days. Yes. Did you tell me? No. Holy Spirit has heard your cries, Mama. You have Thank cried you. about this situation. It's too much. Yes. And I want to tell you today, that God is going to fight for you. Amen. God, the God that I serve will fight for you. Amen. So I saw young people. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing some funny boys in your church that you need to be careful about. They want to divide your church. But through the grace of God, as I said to you, people are saying you're a prophet now, but I'm saying to you very soon, God wants to lift you up and make you an apostle. Amen. Amen.
But your marriage, to pray for your marriage. Where are your children, sir? Where are your children? No, we don't yet have children. Hmm? We don't have yet. You don't have what? We don't have yet children. Are you not looking for children? We are. <laughs> I'll pray for you. I said I'm seeing a problem. Amen. That there's a plan of Satan. One of the plans is Satan doesn't want you to have children. Amen. So, but I'll pray for you, and God is going to honor you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Thank I you. said if God can bless you, you'll be an example of the family. Amen. Who's doing a business of transport? Huh? Is there anyone you know who's doing a business of transport? Transport? Uh, maybe my late uncle that passed on. Hmm? Maybe my late uncle that passed on was doing Was that. he doing a business of transport? Yeah. Because I'm seeing a business of transport oh. in your family. Yeah. That huh? mm. He passed on already. He passed on? Yeah. You demon. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. You demon. Come out. Leave this woman. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out, you demon. Come out. You demon. Come out, you demon. Push her here. It's a demon. There. My sister, why are you waking? There's a problem. Why are you waking? Yeah, that's true, man of God. Come out. Come out. What are you doing here? No? Huh? Huh? What, what are you doing this lady? Hmm? I'm saying, what are you doing this lady? Hmm? Hmm? What are you doing this lady? Huh? Hmm? Come out! Ish, I want to touch your stomach, I'm afraid. Say, so I want to pray for you. I'm seeing this here inside your stomach. Yes, sir. This thing will cause you to have a problem of the heart. And this will lead you to, ha to have high blood. Yes, sir. Because sometimes you don't wish to eat food. Yes. Are, are you hearing me? That's Let's true. see if there's a spirit that is turning around your stomach. That's true. Huh? Yes. So now this thing, I'm telling you, it will block your heart. What are you doing here? Huh? What are you doing, this lady? Huh? You are saying what? No. What are no. you doing here? Huh? No. What, what are you doing here? Hmm? Hmm? You can't talk. Hmm? What are you doing, this lady? After I pray for your wife, say. Because the doctors are speaking stories. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. Even if you take it to the doctor, you, there will be stories. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
So, but we'll pray for her. From here, she'll be free. Amen. You'll be free. This is the Thank spirit Jesus. that I was telling you that I saw a demon that is trying to sleep with her. Amen. And now, this is a demon of your family now yeah. that is fighting marriages. Yeah, okay. You are saying no? Huh? Come, sir. Come, come. Why are you saying no? Hmm? Hmm? I'm saying, why are you saying no? Huh? Stand this side. Come out! Leave it, leave it. Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out. What, what are you doing here? I won't leave you today. What are you doing here? Huh? What are you doing, this lady? No. Leave her, Molo. Leave her. What are you doing, this lady? Huh? Huh? You are saying what? Hmm? So she should suffer. You want her to suffer? Yeah. And then who are you? Huh? Who are you? I say, I'm saying, who are you? Huh? Come out! Come out! Come out! Bring that lady. Come here. Is your daughter? Huh? Yes, sir. So you're always crying with your stomach? Um, huh? Yes. Yes, it's very painful. I don't know what's happening. It always hurts. Huh? It always hurts. It always hurts. Yes. Mama, you know about this problem? She just told me about this afternoon. Hmm? She told me about it this afternoon. So why were you not telling your mom? Excuse me? Why were you not telling your mom about this? I told her. You told her? Yes. Today? Yes. Uh. At least when I'm doing like this, I'm trying to make it like it's a service. So that if I say stand one by one, it is like we're in a show now. In Jesus' name. Let me pray for you. I'll pray for you. You'll be fine. Mama? Yes. You, as I, as I said to you, this is a spirit. Yes, that sir. Was, this spirit has destroyed your life. Yes, it's true. Oh, you know me? Mm. So after I pray for you, God is going to help you. Amen. And there's no one who's going to stop you. Amen. Touch you. The blood of Jesus. Mm. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You're free, Mama. You're free. People, you're free. My girl, you're free. And you must listen to your mom, eh? Mama? You must listen to you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. And you must stop friends. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me what I'm saying? Yes, man. Of course. I'm saying what? I should stop friends. And listen to what? My mother. Because these friends, many of them, they are not living right. Yes. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes, men of I'm God. I'm seeing them going to parties. Yes, men of God. Huh? Yes. 
So you must be a good girl. You listen to your mom. Amen. You live long. Thank you. Mama, I want to pray for you. And I believe God is going to help you. Amen. So I'm just seeing that even you certainly want to affect your heart. Amen. So you'll be fine. I pray that her blood must not be part of your body. It is already. Huh? It is. You have got her blood. Mm. So because I'm just feeling your, your legs. Sometimes it's like they're becoming somehow. Mm. And now this is making you to have a heat here. Huh? Yes. At true. the back. Yes. So I'll pray for you. You'll be healed today. Are you hearing me? Amen. You're free. You're free, Mama. You're free. Come, sir. I prayed for you. You're free. I said, be careful of these people. Yes. And your marriage needs prayer. Amen. You know what I'm talking about. Yes, I know. He knows this one. Yes, I know. I know. Huh? Yeah, I know. So I don't want to speak some of these details that I'm seeing mm. because it can affect your church. Ah. I'm telling you that I don't want to say this because it will affect your church. No, no, no. I'm, I'm shocked when you're telling me, when you're saying already it has been affected. So I'll, 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 don't worry. You know what I'm talking about, eh? Yes, I know. No? Yes, I know. You know what is happening in this house? Yes, yes, I know. No? Yes. And this is a plan of Satan to stop him. Yeah. But I want to tell you, <laughs> people you don't know my god though. <laughs> I want to tell you that even if Satan is trying to destroy this your house mm. he will never destroy this church Amen. because already there are serious problems yes. in your marriage yes. so let's not speak much we don't want to affect the Christians Amen anointed. Come out! In Jesus' mighty name. You are anointed. You are anointed. You are anointed. You people, you are free. You are free.